Welcome back to the Morning Show. Andres Ag Academy in the Decatur Public School System is gaining a lot of attention. The city's Eisenhower and MacArthur High Schools have run out of space, so a fifth teacher is being hired since there are so, so many students involved. And WCIA 3's Ag reporter Stu Ellis will tell us how this all got started in this morning's report from the farm. Philanthropist Howard Buffett says his gift to build a new FFA center south of Decatur all began with his son Howie, a former FFA chapter president at Mount Zion High School. When Howie was in high school, uh, he was in FFA. And of course, he's, uh, for many years, he farmed with me in Nebraska, and now he's off doing some other things. But, you know, uh, so agriculture is kind of in my heart and in Howie's heart. So Howie came to me in 2012 and said, Dad, can we give $25,000 from the foundation? And it was a high school in Omaha. I wanted to start an FFA chapter. I said, that's an urban high school. No one's going to care about agriculture. I said, it's not going to work. He says, just give me the 25000 bucks and give it to the school, and let's see what happens. It turned out to be an incredible success. So uh, much to my surprise, okay, it's probably the best $25,000 we spent because it eventually led to what we're doing here in, in, in Decatur. Because of student interest in Decatur's Andreas Ag Academy, the Buffett Foundation is sponsoring facilities and farmland south of Decatur adjacent to Buffett's land for use by any and all FFA chapters in central Illinois. We connected our 320 acres to this back part of the development behind the FFA building. So really these kids have unlimited opportunity. I, I mean, we're gonna grow, we won't get it done this year, but next year, um, I said, we'll grow as much sweet corn as you want, and, the, and, the, and they can go sell it for FFA, you know, to try to raise money. Uh, we're going to have some of them on tractors, uh, seeing what we're doing uh, on the combine. Then they'll have their own plots, so they'll be able to be out there, you know, doing what they want to do in their plots. Um, so I, I think it's, it, it, where we have it is a great location, and it's part of what inspired me to do it, because I felt like there's just really almost no end to what these kids can get involved with. There's a lot more to this story, and we'll have it on our weekend program, Midwest Ag This Week. But for now, that's our report from the farm. I'm Stu Ellis with WCIA 3, your local news leader.